Hello and welcome to a video, a little account progression video series uh, that I'm going to, I guess, start with this video. This is video one, welcome. Um, as you can see from my stats, I'm not starting with a fresh account. Uh, I did really want to try a, uh, an Iron Man. I haven't tried an Iron Man before outside of leagues. So I thought this would, like, it would be a lot of fun to try an Iron Man. But truth be told, I did just get to the point with some of these stats um, specifically like Slayer and some of the um, offensive and combat stats uh, to try like some of the bosses I've been wanting to try for a while. You, I have my own uh, account pulled up here in the lookup. Um, but I've just started doing things like Abyssal Sire. I have like, I mean, King Black Dragon, which is, you know, more of a mid-level boss, I guess you could say. Uh, for me, though, it's um, last time I tried Abyssal, the, not Abyssal Sire, the uh, King Black Dragon, I was like 13 or 14. So... It's gotten a lot easier since then. Um, I think I also have, like, let's see, Gauntlet. Is that how you spell it? Oh, I've done 4KC on the Gauntlet, which is uh, big for me, huge. Um, took me a while to learn it, uh, and I wanted to make a little video at some point, just sort of a very basic uh, view into my, my understanding of the Gauntlet. Um, but I did want to basically kind of, I have three main goals in mind. Um, and I figured I can start from this account rather than a fresh one. The first goal is to actually complete the Achievement Diaries. Uh, as you can tell from my stats, I'm not that close, unfortunately. Uh, I am lacking some of the more necessary um, stats, such as like 91 Thieving I need for the Desert Diary. Because um, you can't boost, unfortunately, for the Desert Diary. I can boost for the Agility, so I'll only need 85 to boost for 90 to do the uh, Ardun um agility course um 85 unboosted prayer uh and then unfortunately 91 unboosted runecraft um but the other two things i want to do is one get the music cape uh and because i already did the christmas um event this year that actually marked the last of the seasonal events i had to do i, I did make a point this year of just uh bonding up and um doing the seasonal event mainly because I just really wanted the trimmed music cape when I got it. Uh, and as you can tell, most of these are through, um, yeah, it's like a Zeros God Wars dungeon, basically. Uh, I think a few of the, is this a God Wars dungeon as well? Yeah. Uh, I unfortunately, oh, I was heartbroken. I had a master clue. It was a mimic, but I was in the wilderness. Um, I think I just... I was poisoned by a spider or something and ended up dying from the poison before I could actually fight the mimic. So I never got the chance to get to the mimic. Um, and I've completed, oh, you, let's see, maybe scroll up so you can see it. There we go. Eight master clues, seven elite. I guess only master, maybe elite and master both give a chance to, to go to um, the mimic chest. Um, so not like, I'm not that unlucky at this point. I'm just hoping though in the future I will get that uh, thing. Clanliness, I'm not part of clan. Fire in the Deep, I think, is Zarek. Uh, yeah, Chambers of Zarek, which I have not... Um, I've not actually done that. I do need to do that both for the music, but also for the Achievement Diary for Kurin and Kibos. Kibos, Kibos. Um, but again, I'm waiting for 90 Slayer so I can boost to 95. So it's not a huge rush at this moment, because uh, that'll take about a month. Um, maybe maybe longer. I think the rest of these, this is Chem, Chemdazel, Chemdozel, Chemdazel. Um, I just haven't gone there yet. You know, it's like, I kind of want to keep some of these easy ones till the end. Um, oh, okay. Rhapsody is also a clan uh, song as well. And then what happens below, which is the Warrens. Um, I've done all the, like the quests. I've completed the, all the quests except some mini quests. It's just that song wasn't uh, unlocked when I did the Warrens is like the underground area in uh, Port Piscalarius. Piscalarius. I should mention that I mispronounce almost every name in this game, so fair warning. Um, but I do, I did the quest and I just didn't get the music track because I think it's a little too um, new. Sorry, I'm turning up my fans because my uh, eight-year-old computer does not like to be um, video capturing. So that's the second thing I want to do is just finishing up the music cape. And then last but not least, as a kind of a longer term goal, is doing the combat tasks. Um, I've done some recently, like I've done the easy ones, obviously, I think that those are just super simple. Um, I mean, some of them are like ridiculously simple. I think it's kill a hellhound, kill a, 
greater demon. Okay, the demon main weapon. I mean, these are you know basic stuff. Um, I'm almost through, and this is why I figured I'd just go ahead and start recording. I'm almost through the mediums. I just have to do. Let me just search by incomplete. Um, Barrow's champion. Actually, let me see where I am at with that. Okay, so two more chests. Wow, that's nothing. Um, that's the one I'm having the most trouble with right now is I just have to basically, I guess, go to the ancient uh, spell book and just freeze them. Um, but for whatever reason, every time I try, I'm just like, they tag me before I can do anything because if you don't know, even if they hit you for zero, um, you fail this, so they can't hit you at all. Um, and even if I get through one, you know, eventually one of the other ones is going to attack me or something. So I have not completed that yet. This one, I cannot for the life of me figure out why I have not finished it. Um, I've got like a nine uh, KC uh, on um, Bryophyta, Bro, Bryophyta, Bryophyta. Some of these words I just don't pronounce out loud, so I have no idea how to pronounce them, but um, Bryophyta. Uh, and every time I've tried to do this with the secretors and I get them all down to one health and I just sort of spam click back and forth, but I haven't actually gotten that for some reason. Um, Seracnus 25 times. I just, I think I stopped doing Seracnus after um, I got the 10 KC. Okay, after 11 KC, clearly. Um, and then Winter Toad, Winter Todd, Winter Toad, Winter Toad. After watching Mudkip's video, I cannot pronounce this word. Um, I have 360 KC. Um, it's where I got my 99 fire making from. Um, and I've gotten this achievement a number of times. However, the achievement ta like combat uh, achievements weren't around when I got my 99 fire making. Uh, I think they came out this year, 2022. I think they came out early 2022. And I got this, uh, and I basically did the whole win uh, Winter Todd grind, Winter Toad. Gosh, I'm really messing up this word. Uh, grind in like 2020, 2021. Um, so unfortunately, I have to go back there for two different tasks. I have to get the one that's also uh, uh, getting 3,000 points um, uh, in Winter Toe, which I, I got from going, like to, from doing solos, basically. Um, and I just, again, it's like once you get 99, you don't want to go back. I did not get the pet, unfortunately. So if I want to go for that kind of uh, completion of stuff, I can always go back. Um, yeah, why Fletch? 3,000 or more points. I think I got, I mean, I would do these, what, 9,000 point runs or something like that. Um, as far as the hard goes, though, I have not completed very many. Uh, here, I'm going to go back to the overview. So I'm not even halfway through the hard, nowhere close to like a quarter of the way of the elite, one master and no grandmaster. Um, so this is sort of a, a slow going, as they say. I mean, I've done... Even like the Tombs of Amaska, let's see, uh, entry mode. Okay, I've done one KC on Tombs of Amaska, um, and it was just the entry mode. Um, so it's not amazing. Like, I've, you know, I could be doing better. Let me turn these fans back now, now that it's cooled down a little bit. Um, but I'm not the best with PVM. I'm not an amazing PVMer. I don't really know how to, like, the best ways to do things. Um, and I, it's like one of the things I either have time to play or a time to watch videos. Um, so I don't often, like, I didn't watch any videos on Tombs of a Mask and I went in blind. Uh, and it ended up being not like the best decision in the world, um, given just how it went. Um, it could have been a lot better, I think, because I just sort of messed up a lot of the, uh, the fights. Um, but I ended up watching some videos when people on Reddit actually were like, you know, it's not a very hard raid, and you'd probably be able to figure it out pretty easily if you did some, uh, just went ahead and watched a video or two. Um, so, of course, I did, and it ended up being a much easier raid uh, than I previously thought. Um, and so really quickly, I'm just gearing up here for, now that I'm talking, I'm going to forget, like, ex everything I need. But I'm gearing up for uh, Hespori, um, because I believe, speaking of combat tasks, um, I have one to do oh, okay not medium oh i have tons to do apparently wow okay um let's look at him completely apparently i've done none of them so special attack without losing any prayer points okay 
in fewer than 48 seconds and then fewer than 36 seconds or less than 36 seconds. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to gear up for this and then I'm going to go attempt those lovely uh, achievements. I'm going with sort of magic defense and uh, the fang, which is not as fast as the whip. Obviously, it's a five uh, tick weapon instead of a four tick. But I figured it has pretty good accuracy, uh, so why not bring it? I have the DDS to finish the spec, and then, of course, the darts for the little flower things that bloom. Um, I don't have a blessing because you can't use it here. So we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. All right, let's see if I got the achievement. Ooh, plant-based diet and Hespor isn't. So that was the no prayer points. And of course the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the special attacks. All right, let's see if I get the bottomless compost bucket. I sure don't, but that's not bad. I'll take it. Uh, I'm gonna go get another Hespor seed to actually plant. So deciding what to do next, I figured I'm gonna go ahead and well, oops, that's collections logged. I am figured I'm gonna go ahead and start on these Barrows activities. Um, I was really kind of hoping to wait for a uh, Slayer task. I unlocked the bossing or like a boss Slayer activity task thing. Um, but I figured I'll go ahead with these. I don't really want to grind out um, the, what is it, tree giants? That doesn't sound right. Moss giants, there we go. Um, for any keys right now, uh, I might actually instead go to Seracnus. Uh, it's sort of a constant debate in myself of like, should I do that or should I, you know, go ahead and practice Tombs of a Basket? Um, because I, obviously, if you are playing, then you know they just added a bunch of Tombs of a Basket. Um, uh, what should I call it? Uh, achievements. Specifically, if you're like me, this was the reason I did this one is because this used to be the Novice Tomb Explorer. It used to be in the medium um, achievements, and I think some people made a bit of a fuss about it on Reddit. Uh, I was one of those people, um, mainly because if you look at the medium um, tasks, obviously there are some difficult tasks, um, but they're also like, you know, kill a Karask, which is not hard at all, or a Gargoyle, which these are both Slayer tasks, I guess. Um, but a lot of these aren't uh, like, I don't know, I mean, some are kind of difficult. There we go, deal 100 damage. Uh, to creatures using undead thralls that's more of just like a keep spamming them and it'll happen um so it felt a little a lot of people felt that it was a little hard to put a completing a raid like an entry mode raid by yourself mainly because i think it's not until the elite that um i'm gonna prove myself wrong. here we go yeah the theater of blood entry mode which you have to do the theater of blood entry mode anyway to finish the quest um, and this is in obviously the elite area and this is just super simple like defeat this person defeat that person um, I even think like just the basic because I think they're Let me see do they have any in the hard mode? Oh, okay, I take it back. I'm sorry They do have the entry mode complete the entry mode one time here uh, And then everything else I think for it is in the elite um, but here it's complete the entry mode one time complete it 25 times uh, completed at raid level 50, and I think completed at raid level 100. Um, so it's a bit different, their, their system. However, I think Tombs of a Masket is a little bit easier, personally. Uh, I think most people think that. And then most of these, I kind of have to wait. Like, unfortunately, some of these, the reason it's going to take so long is because I need a higher Slayer level, like the Kraken. Can't kill the Kraken at all. Um, and then, actually, that's just for this one, I guess. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, I think it's in the elite where I have to actually kill like the uh, the Hydra and whatnot. So to start out, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish up some of those Barrows activities, see what I can get. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and gear up and go over to Barrows. Thank you all so much for watching this video. That is a cute rabbit behind me. And I hope you guys watch the next one.